hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome and in today's class we'll be learning how to draft our basic bodice pattern and you know this class is very important because it's the foundation for any type of dresses you want to make you want to make some blouse you want to make a top you want to make a dress you need to learn how to make your basic bodice pattern it's the foundation for all types of dresses blouses shirts and whatever you want to make so let's jump right to class this is going to be the half scale and what do i mean by the half scale i mean from the shoulder down to our waistline okay so that will be our half scale and what we'll be needing for today's class we'll be needing a paper so you might not have a white paper it might be a brown paper but it will serve the same purpose so we'll be needing our paper our tape measurements our scissors uh, marker but i suggest you can use a pencil if you're just you're a beginner okay but if you feel you can move ahead to use your marker you can use your marker then we use a pattern master okay then i'll suggest for the beginners class you can make use of this so you can get this at the bookstore okay you get this at the bookstore it comes with the other parts then the ma pattern master you can get this at the store where they sell fashion store okay so and then you'll be needing your long ruler all right so let's get right to class so for our measurements so this is the measurement we'll be using our shoulder measurements our sh bust our waist and our bust span measurements so the first thing you're going to be doing is your bust measurement my bust measurement is 35.5 so you take your bust measurement so you divide that by four okay you divide what you have by four so whatever you have you had i have 8.875 for mine so i decided to add like four inches extra so i can have enough space for my ease for my armhole for my dart intake for my joining allowance and so so i have 12 inches here already but before then i ruled out this so this is a guide to my starting point so this is my starting point so this is like one inch okay so this is this is the line i'm going to be following so i have 12 inches all together so your both circumference by four whatever you had have you can have two inches or three inches so i added three inches to my i rounded my 8.875 to nine then i had it three inches so i have enough space so i have my 12 inches then you do the same thing for the other side I have the same thing on the other side 12 inches so i'm going to be ruling that out now Then you do the same thing for the back too all right so the next thing we're going to be taking now is our shoulder to our waist so you take your measurement from your shoulder to your waist so for my shoulder to my waist so we're going to be starting with the vertical measurement first all right the vertical measurement first so for my vertical measurements that is straight from your shoulder to your bust to your waist so that is the first thing we're going to be taking so mine is 16 inches for my vertical i have 16 inches for that for my waist so i'm going to be adding half inch joining allowance to my waist because you might need to join it to your skirt pattern okay in order to make a dress so that will be 16 and a half so this is my 16 and a half so i'm going to be following that one So I'll take it to the back. And I'll connect this. Okay. So this is what we're going to be working with. So this is our table. So this will be my front measurement. Okay. This will be my front. All right. So I'm going to be starting with our front measurement so the first thing we're going to be doing is taking our bust measurement that is our circumference 
So my bust circumference. Now we are going to be using our bust circumference to determine our chest line. So we're taking our bust measurements to determine our chest line. So my bust measurement is 35. That is the circumference. It's 35.5. So you divide that by 6. Then you had 1.5 to it. Okay. Your bust circumference, you divide it by 6. Six, then you had 1.5 inches. All right, so my bust circumference, if I divide that by six, I'm going to be having 5.9. So I'm going to round that up to six inches. Then I'm going to be having 1.5. So that will be 7.5. So I'm going to be ruling my 7.5 down. But before doing that, I'm going to be taking my shoulder measurement first. So my shoulder measurement is 13 inches. So you divide your shoulder by two. Always divide your shoulder by two. So once I divide my shoulder by two, I have 6.5. Then my chest measurement, which is 7.5, I'll be taking that vertically. So remember, we are, we are taking a vertical measurement. So this is my 7.5. So I'm going to be taking that round. And I'll connect it. So this is my chest measurement, okay? So we have our chest measurement. So whatever we have on the shoulder, I took 6.5, so I'm going to be repeating it on my chest measurement, okay? So the 6.5, I'm going to repeat it here. So this is my 6.5. Then I'm going to take a vertical line and connect the chest and the shoulder together, all right? So that's clear. So the next line we're going to be taking for the vertical measurement. So this is my vertical measurement. What I have here are my vertical measurement. The next vertical measurement is my bust. So my bust length is 10.5. Okay. So I'm going to be taking that down 10.5. So this is 10.5. I'm going to take that down. Then connect. So that is, and we have our waist already. All right, so our lines are coming out. So the next thing we're going to be taking now is our neck line. Okay, so for your neck line, for a neck width, the standard measurement is three. Okay, so this is my neck width. Then for the depth, two is three, three by three. For a plus size, okay, for a plus size measurement you can decide to make it four inches okay you can decide to make it four inches for probably size 14 size 16 you can decide to make it four inches because this neckline will be too small but the standard me measurement is three for the width then for the depth depth means how deep you want your neck to be if you want it to go down so you can decide to still make it four for that then for these two, you can decide to make it four inches, okay? Then you connect. Then for beginner's class, you can decide to use this armhole curve, okay? If you're finding it difficult to use the pattern master, you can use this. So what you do is you just connect from this part to this part, okay? You can see that's easy. So you connect that point, the three inches to whatever you have, be it four inches. And if it is four inches, you can decide to do it this way. So you can see it's pretty easy to use. Okay. But I'm going to be using the pattern master. If you decide you want to skip this part and not make use of this. So we're going to be using our pattern master. But before we do that, I'm going to be ruling this out. Okay. So I'm going to be taking this class gradually we're not going to be rushing the class we have to make sure we are carrying everybody along okay so that set to be placed this way then you connect it this way all right so that is how to use this 
Then afterwards, what we are going to be doing next now is from our shoulder line, we're going to be coming down by one inch, okay? So you come down by one inch on your shoulder line. Then you'll be connecting from this one inch to your three inches here. You do it this way. All right, so there you have it. So we have our shoulder line. Because we're coming down here, we are slanting our shoulder because you know the human body, the shoulder is not straight, okay? Our shoulder is slanted. We don't have this pointy shoulder, okay? So that is why we are slanting it down so our fabric can sit well on us. You have now, whatever you have left, after you've taken your one inch off, okay? You measure it. So I have 6.5 inches left. So you divide that by two. So that will be your midpoint. Whatever you have, divide it by two. So I have 3.25. So this is my 3.25, okay? So this is my 3.25. All right. So let's leave that for now. So let's move to this part. Then now we're going to be taking our bust pan measurements. What do we mean by bust pan measurements? That is from one nipple to the other. You take whatever you have from one nipple stand to the other, okay? So whatever you have there, you divide it by two. So mine is eight, so I'm going to be dividing that by two. So I'm going to be labeling my my pattern so we understand. This is the chest line. Then on my bust line, okay, I'm going to be taking my bust pan, so which is four inches. My bust pan is four inches, so I'm going to be taking that up to my waistline, all right? And I'm going to be pulling it. Okay, so I have my bust line. Then on this part, I'm going to be coming down by one inch on my bust line to connect my dots, okay? So then on my waistline, I'm going to be taking half inch on both sides, okay? So I'm going to be taking half inch on both sides. Then I'm going to be connecting from this point here to these two lines. And you repeat the same thing on the other side, okay? So we have our dots already. So that is our dots. So the next thing we're going to be taking is our circumference. What do we mean by circumference? That is our round. When you take your, when you take your table round your bodies, so we're going to be doing for our busts and for our waist. Okay, so our bust, our bust is 35.5. So you divide anything circumference by four. Okay, anything circumference you divide by four. So my circumference is 35.5 for my bust. So when when I divide that by four, I need to have 8.875. So I'm going to be taking that on my chest line. So whatever you have for your your bust uh, your bust measurements. You are going to take that on your chest line, not on your bust, okay? So I have 8.875. So this is my 8.875. Okay? Then I'm going to be taking quarter of an inch for my armhole because we are going to be connecting this to our armhole. So you'll be able to move freely your arm when you weighing your uh, so quarter of an inch so you take that and i'm going to be taking one inch for allowance okay all right so that's it too. so that is how you're going to be taking that then the next thing you're going to be taking is your waist okay so my waist circumference is 30 so you take my waist by four so anything circumference remember we take it by four so 30 divided by 
four will give me 7.5. So I have my 7.5 here. But then remember that our that's you know, we've taken our that. So we have to replace it back because if we don't replace it back, we're going to run into some issues when we are joining our fabric. It will be to run short, okay? It will run short. So it's very important that we return it back. So we return that one inch back for our waist. Then we take one inch for allowance, okay? So we're going to be connecting this to this, okay? All right, so we can see our pattern is coming out already. Then let's go back to our armhole line. So on your armhole, for the front, you are going to be going in by quarter of an inch, okay? So to avoid gaping of your, and the armhole part, you see some fabric, you wear it, and the armhole is popping out and coming out. So you are going to be going in by three quarter of an inch, okay? So we are going to be connecting from this part of our handhold, okay? Where we came in by a quarter of an inch, we are going to be connected to this first line here, okay? So we'll be connecting it that way. Alright. So you connect it this way. Then from this part, you connect back to this part. Then after connecting that, then you connect back to this line, okay? Right, so you can see that. Okay, so we have that. So our front pattern is ready okay you can see our front pattern is ready already so we're going to move to the back then for your back what you need for your back is just your chest line and your waistline you know at the back we don't have the bust we only have our bust in front so i'm going to be collect connecting my line my chest line and my waistline so that is what we need So we have our chest line, our waistline for our back. So for our back, for our, you repeat the shoulder measurement, okay? Repeat the same measurements, our shoulder measurements. So I'm going to be taking this inward like this. So I'm going to be taking my back from this side, okay? But is this is totally optional. You can decide to start from here or here. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be taking it here. So my shoulder measurement 6.5. I'm going to repeat that here. All right. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing on my chest line, my shoulder measurements. Then I'm going to be connecting it together. Okay. Then for the neckline for your back, you make sure what you have for your neck width, okay? So this is the width. Make sure you repeat the same thing here. If you are using four year, make sure you use four for the back too. So I'm using three inches for my back, but this can be altered, just like I said, depending on the size. So three is the standard, but it can also be altered because you know, you know we have different shapes and different sizes. So this three might not work for a plus size person, okay? So always put that in mind. Then you come down by one inch. Well, for a plus size, you can decide to make it 1.5, all right? Then you're going to be connecting these two together. So I'm going to be using my relax cut, my armhole curl, okay? So that is for the back. But if you want to use this or any type of armhole, it's still the same thing you just curve it this way then you connect then it will still give you the same results all right so that being said then for your back you come down by one inch okay so let's leave that for now then for our chest line you repeat the same thing 
you took for the back you repeat it for the front so my my bust that is your bust that is what i mean by your chest line you divide it by four that means i mean the circumference okay so that is 8.875 all right so i have that here then i'm going to be adding my one inch allowance okay then on my waist i'm going to be repeating the same thing my waist is 30 so i'm going to be dividing that by four so whatever you have for your waist divided by four so i have 7.5 so i'm going to be stopping there for now so i'm going to be taking my bust pan measurement okay so my bust pan is four inches that is your your bust pan you divide it by two so i have four inches for that so i'm going to be coming in here by four inches on my chest line and on my waistline then i'm going to be connecting the two together all right then on my chest line i'm going to be coming down by one inch then on my waistline i'm going to be taking half inch on both sides just like we did for the front and i'm going to be connecting these two together all right then you repeat the same for the back all right so that is how to determine your that for the back okay so now we've taken our 7.5 then the same thing that we did for the front repeat it for the back the one the one inch that we have to re return it back so after taking your circumference for your waist return this one inch down okay then on this part of your waist okay so we are going to be taking half inch the reason why we are taking this half inch here is to eliminate back pop, okay? And the human body, our back is not straight. Our back is not totally straight. We have some curves at our back. If you're not sure, you can go and you see that the human back is not straight. So this is to make sure our, our back is a little bit curved. So there is no, mm, there is no rule to where you, you can connect this to, okay? You can make it to from your neckline, to this part but i'm going to be stopping at my chest line okay so i'm going to be taking that into my chest line then from my chest line i'm going to be blending it together so you can return it back to me okay so this half inch that we took here we have to return it back or else we're going to run into some challenges when we are doing that so we're going to be returning that half inch back okay so we're going to be connecting this to this part okay so this is our back then on this part of our shoulder whatever we have left we have 6.5 After coming down by one inch so whatever you have left you divide by two so i have six i have 3.25 and i need to be connecting from this line to this part okay so you connect it this way all right so that one that would go back to so you can see our pattern is ready so this is basically how to construct your basic pattern then on my back part we are not done with the back you know at times when we would put on our, our, our fabric and we notice the back and the front is not sitting well properly that's because the back pattern is not properly altered okay if you take your measurement you see that your front measurement for your waist will not align it's not usually the same thing most times so to eliminate that you're going to be coming up by i'm going to be coming up by half inch but this is 
optional some you some can come up by so people come up by one inch quarter of an inch so it could align properly but i'm going to be coming up by half inch then i'm going to be connecting this to my this part here okay i don't know if you understand so i'm going to be connecting from this part to this part to eliminate that awkwardness that we see in some dresses and some blouse So you connect it down okay so by doing so we've eliminated any awkwardness in our fabric so as you can see our pattern is totally ready okay our pattern is ready then again our back okay so you can decide to add um zipper allowance to your back okay if you want it to have zip but make sure when you're adding your deeper allowance, you're starting from this point here, not this point. You know, this is our main line now. So if you're adding your deeper allowance, you're going to be starting your one inch or your two inches on this line. So I'm going to be going go doing going with just an inch. So remember, so this way our bank our back is not straight, but it is now slanted. So I hope you understand that part. I'm going to be showing you how to connect it. So you can see it's a bit slanted now. And you connect it back. Then this part, let's bring it this way. Okay. So that is how to. Then remember to come like this. Remember you are connecting from here. We came up by one inch so you're going to be joining all the way this way for cutting we're going to be adding our shoulder allowance of half inch okay so you had it this way before cutting our pattern we are going to be connecting this to this point okay our shoulder that we came off we're going to be connecting it this way Then after doing that, you had your half inch joining allowance to this before cutting that out. Okay, so we blend that in. All right, so we repeat the same thing for the front. okay so we have our front then we have our back now we can cut so this is how we are going to be cutting so i'm going to be coming through this way so we can see we still have a lot of excesses so now i'm going to be cutting we'll be cutting our front pattern first So just take your time in cutting the neck region okay might give you a tough time but with time you improve then remember your shoulder then i'm going to be cutting through my main measurements right so i have my front here so i'm going to be cutting the back now So you can see that was pretty easy so with this pattern you can make just about anything you can make a kimono top you can make a simple blouse okay you can make a kimono jacket so you just make sure it gets to the um that's uh below uh, above your new point okay above your new point then with this pattern you can also create a shirt dress okay so you just make sure you eliminate your zipper at the back you don't include your zipper at the back 
back so your zipper will be in front then you can make take it to the length that you want so it's basically the same thing then you can even make a short jacket with this so i hope this video has been helpful if you have any question put it in the comment section i hope you like my video give me a thumbs up if you like my video guys so until i see you in my next class bye